Okay, so uh, for reasons of time, I will uh, I will read the J version of the flood story, and then I think I'm going to do P, and then I think I'm going to read uh, the flood story as it appears in the current Torah uh, in the uh, NASB translation, since that's pretty much the most word for word accurate one. So here it goes. Put that up first. <clears throat> now it came about when man began to multiply on the face of the land, and the daughters were born to them, and the sons of God saw the daughters of men were beautiful, and they took wives for themselves, whomever they chose. And then the Lord said, My spirit shall not strive with man forever, because he is because he also is flesh. Nevertheless, his days shall be 120 years. Lord is flesh. See, marked difference from E. Uh, <clears throat> he says, the Nephilim, which uh, were translated giants because of the Titans. This is going back to the Septuagint. They, they translated them giants. It actually means the fallen ones or the descended ones, the ones kicked out of heaven, kind of deal. Uh, you can see a parallel to this in Job with the devil uh, walking amongst the earth. If you want to mind all these texts, which I don't do, but uh, yeah, it was given giant because of the titans, how they fell. Uh, the Nephilim were on the earth in those days. And also afterward, when the sons of God came to the daughters of men, they were they had borne them children, those who were mighty men who were of old, men of renown. Then the Lord saw the wickedness of man. Oh, when the Lord saw the then the Lord saw the wickedness of man was great on the earth, and that every intent of thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. The Lord was sorry that he had made man on the earth, and he was grieved in his heart. The Lord said, I will blot out man I have created from the face of the land, uh, from man to animals to creeping things to the birds of the sky, for I am sorry that I have made them. But Noah found favor in eyes of the Lord. Now you see in, in J. God actually feeling sorry, um, feeling angry about things, grieved. This is a lot different from Pete. And it continues. Then the Lord said to Noah, Enter the ark and all your household. For you alone I have seen to be righteous before me in this time. You shall take with you every clean animal by sevens, a male and his female. And the animals that are not clean, two male and and of his female. Also the birds of the sky by sevens, male and female, to keep offspring alive on the face of all the earth. For after seven more days I will send rain on the earth forty days and forty nights. Remember just a lot, forty days and forty nights, many. Uh, and I will blot out from the face of the land every living thing that I have made. Noah did according to the Lord had commanded. Do, according to the Lord had command. The Lord had commanded him. Noah and his sons and his wife <clears throat> and the sons' wives with him entered the ark because the water because the water of the flood. It came after seven days the way the water of the flood came up upon the earth. <clears throat> the rain fell upon the earth for forty days and forty nights. Those that entered, male and female of all flesh, entered as God commanded him, and the Lord closed it behind him. Forty actually no no no, it just goes to and the Lord closed it behind him. That first part is in part of John. It just goes from the rain fell for forty days and forty nights, and the Lord closed it behind him. <clears throat> then the Lord came upon the earth for forty days and forty nights, 
<clears throat> and the water increased and lifted up the ark, and so it rose above all the earth. And the water prevailed and increased greatly upon the earth, and the ark uh, floated upon the surface of the water. The water prevailed more and more upon the earth, so that all the high mountains everywhere underneath heaven were covered. The water prevailed 15 cubits higher, and the mountains were covered. Of all that was dry land in those in whose nostrils was breath of the spirit of life died, he blotted out everything, and <clears throat> that was upon the face of the land, from man to animals to creeping things, to birds of the sky. They were blotted out from the earth, and Noah was left together with those who were with him in the ark. Then it came about the end of the forty days. Noah opened a window of the ark which he had made, and he sent out a, he, and he sent out a dove for him to see if the waters, the water was ab abated. But the dove abated from the face of the land. But the dove found no resting place for the sole of her foot. So she returned to the ark, for the water was on the surface of all the earth. Then, then he put his hand out and took her, and brought her into the ark himself. So he waited there another seven days, and again he sent out a dove, the dove from the ark. Dove came back towards him toward the evening, and behold, in her beak was freshly picked olive leaf. So no one knew the water had abated from the earth. Then he waited yet another seven days and sent out the dove, but she did not return to him again. Then Noah removed the covering of the ark and looked, and behold, the surface of the ground was dried. Then Noah built an altar and and took every clean animal and every clean bird and offered burnt offerings on the altar. The Lord smelled the soothing aroma, and the Lord said to himself, I will never again curse the ground on account of man, for the intent of man's heart is evil in his youth, and I will never destroy every living thing as I have done. While the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night shall not cease. And that's the flood story. It's pretty short, isn't it? Now, keep in mind, I was reading the pink from here. As you can see, there's a lot of yellow. We don't see the story of the raven. We don't see Moses building the, or I mean Noah building the ark. And I read to this page, which you see a lot of yellow and redactor in it, and I just read the J part. So that is the J version of Noah. Uh, then I will do P version, and then I will read the whole thing. Peace to you.